Hey guys, it's Paige um, at Comfort Books. You probably have already seen me in the same outfit because I'm re pre recording videos. My boyfriend's living with me now, so I'm taking advantage of him being at work and making videos. So I'm just pre recording a couple. Um, this video is going to be my currently reading slash what I hope to finish in February. I don't know if I'm, hopefully, at least two of them will be finished. I know because I have to finish one in a week and the other one I have to finish for school. So definitely two of them will be finished. But I don't know about the other one. Um, I had another book that I'm currently reading and I hope to finish in February, but it's downstairs and I'm really lazy and I don't feel like going to get it. So if I can remember the title by the end of the city, I'll let you know what it is. But <laughs> other than that, I'm going to get started. So a book that I started a while ago before I even went back to school um, is Still Alice by Lisa Genova. This is an amazing book and I'm only, I only have a little bit left, but I've had to put it down for school books and other books that I had to finish in a week. So um, I had to put this down, but I am definitely going to finish this between before the month's over because it is so good and I only have a little bit left. But this move, this book is incredible. I can't wait to finish it so I can go see the movie. It's incredible. Um, the next book I'm reading, which I have to finish before Friday, is Every Promise by Kristen Halbrook. This is from Around the World Arc Tours. And, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, she wrote, this is her second book. The first book she wrote was Nobody But Us. I don't know if you guys have read that book, but that book is amazing. It's about a girl whose father abuses her, so and her and her delinquent boyfriend run away. They go on pretty much a road trip, but they're running away. And the ending is so sad, but it was a really good book. It's pretty much just them on the road the whole time. And they're just such a sweet couple, and I loved it. I loved the book. My friend Erica read it, and she loved it. So, yeah, I'm hoping that this book is going to be half as good, at least. Hopefully as good, but at least half as good. Um... I'm only this much through, but hopefully I'll be able to finish it by Friday. Today's Wednesday, so <laughs> hopefully. And then the last book that I have to finish is for, again, school. Atrocious, atrocious books for school. Liberty and Power, um, The Politics of Jacksonian America by Harry L. Watson. Oh my god, that sounds so gross. It's not as bad. To be honest, I thought it was going to be worse than the slavery book, but it's not as bad. It's easier to read, I feel like. Um, but I read... From the introduction until chapter four. Technically, I didn't read chapter four, but shh, nobody has to know. Um, so I have to read from chapter four, um, chapter five, I think, to eight, or, or chapter five until the end of the book for next Tuesday, and then I'll be done with this book. So this book will definitely be finished, as well as another book for cl that class in February. Um, so yeah, that is everything I'm reading right now. The other book that I'm reading that's downstairs that I don't feel like going to get is called The Sister to Honor. I can't remember the author's name, but it's pretty much about um, two, I, they're Muslims, I think. I, I can't remember their exact location, but I know they're Muslims, and they're um, coming to school in America, and the sister falls in love with an American boy, which is not their culture. Usually they get arranged marriages, and they have to be modest, and they can't like take their headpieces off, they can't touch other guys, yada yada, stuff like that. But she ends up getting into a relationship and picture, pictures of this get posted online. And her brother finds out and her brother is like taking cause measures against the boyfriend so that she doesn't get like tainted and then cause their family like embarrassment and stuff like that. It's really good actually. I was, when I first read it, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like that, but I'm liking it. It's taken me a while to read it because I have to keep putting it down, but it's a really good book. So, um, it's already out. Um, I saw it at work the other day and I was like, oh no, I didn't finish it before it came out, but oh well. I tried. That's all that matters. So, my eyes are probably all over the place. I'm looking at the books. I'm looking at the time. I'm looking everywhere other than the camera. But anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you're reading down below or leave me links to your videos. Anything like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.